Alan Ripa, Luxury Homes. Just down the road is another hearty restoration soul. I live here because I was born here. That's the only reason I would ever want to live here. <laughs> Bob Odegaard. Like Jerry Beck, Bob started in the crop dusting business. Then after 17 years of having to maintain his own airplanes, as well as others, he gravitated towards the antiques. Obviously, like most of the kids, I drooled over the, the Mustang and the Corsair. And um, one day the, the teeth got so long, they got so deep in my flesh, I could never get rid of it. So I got really involved. And that was about like 1985. to dream. There is no horizon beyond the reach of a dream. There is no dream too large to be embraced. So dream until your dream takes flight. Now we follow a veteran pilot who has the opportunity to fulfill a lifelong dream by competing in the world's fastest motorsport, the Reno Air Racer. Every time you load up and jerk this thing, it's going to slow down. you got to learn to fly it smooth, because there's where your speed will come from. You just can't load it up in all these turns. Got it. Roger that. Director Mitch Carley and Avocet Studios have set out to make a movie about the air races. Thunder over Reno. They need a special aircraft. They need a special pilot. They got both. The F2G Super Corsair and Robert Odegaard. In fact, they got a great team. Joining Robert are his two sons, Casey and Brady. Along with Jerry Beck and his beautiful A-model P-51 Mustang. The team hails from North Dakota and is known worldwide for their award-winning Warbird restorations involving the P-51 Mustangs and Corsairs.
To diagnose a problem when you have a 3,800 horsepower engine is not an easy task. Yeah, of course, you can't push much power on this thing. You can't, unless you tie it down, you can't get enough power on to see if it's going to work. That's what we're going to get a chain and we're going to chain it to the pickup. Start coming off. Called the Mayday, start pulling the throttle back. It didn't make any difference until I got a little past halfway on the throttle. And then I could feel it come off, and like an idiot, I, I, I watched everything except the valve and pressure gauge about that time. And, uh, and then I come and put the gear down, and then I pushed the throttle up, and I had power. So I was, I was going to chain it and see if I can get it over a 25 here. But I mean, I'm, everything was smooth, temperatures were down. Man, you were going. It was running better than it's ever run before until it didn't. That was only about 27. Only about 27 inches. That's about half power. Imagine what it's like when the thing is opened up. Well, yesterday we heard it. We went, huh? Of course, oh, really? it popped. Oh, yeah, it popped a few times. Ah. Uh, when I I had a little, it was a valve that was out of adjustment, but I had a little trouble there at Chino, and we ran it that night and looked right. at the exhaust. We found out what cylinder was doing right. it, and and uh, that was a valve. That was a valve adjustment. Maybe I'll come back after after that event, and we'll run it at night. Check out the stacks. Yeah. See what they look like. We had a little miss on takeoff. It barked a little bit yesterday, but I couldn't see or, or feel it at all. Today, the cowling was shaking, and I could hear it. And we've got some foul plugs, and the smart people tell me I got too cold of plugs, so we're going to pull them all out, put in a warmer plug. It's a 28-cylinder engine, so there's 56 spark plugs to pull out. So that's what we're up to. I miss you, Bob, my confidant And my dearest friend For the days we spent together And the days that might have been I cherish all the years we had But I grieve for what I've lost For the valleys we've flown over and the skies we've left uncrossed And I know you soar above me Watching out so I'll take care Until again we fly together Look off your wing and I'll be there You taught me to try harder and to never, ever quit You made me a better person With your wisdom and your wit Better than it's ever run before until it didn't Not by bossing or by prompting But by leading and by example And you always made it fun With your emphasis on the wrong syllable Imagine what it's like when a thing is opened up and I know you soar above me Watching out so I'll take care Till again we fly together Look off your wing and I'll be there I'm Captain Tim Hi and I am Captain Bob First time that thing's been on a course in 57 years? Is this it? Turn left, kept the ball in the center. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I know in time this pain will ease, but linger as no other. For you mentored like a father, and you loved me as a brother. My comfort comes in knowing. That we both believe in God And there we'll meet again, my
my friend in the clear blue skies beyond. And I know you soar above me, watching out so I'll take care. Until again we fly together, look off your wing and I'll be there. I know in time this pain will ease But linger as no other For you mentored like a father And you loved me as a brother My comfort comes in knowing That we both believe in God And there we'll meet again, my friend In the clear blue skies beyond and I know you soar above me, watching out so I'll take care. Until again we fly together, look off your wing and I'll be there.